What are you doing? Um, nothing. You're not looking at buying another Tesla, are you? No, why would I be doing that? The first way you could buy a Tesla in 2022 is the quite obvious way. You go to tesla.com and you can buy whichever model you want on there. You could custom make it, custom order it, and they will then build it and deliver it to you. Or you could pick it up at the closest delivery location, depending on where you live. Because I had this problem in Connecticut, they don't actually deliver to my house. If I were to order a Tesla, I'd have to go to the nearest location, which is in New York, and pick it up from New York. It's not a big deal, but it is worth mentioning because I was told by a lot of people that when you order a Tesla, they deliver it to your home. But in my case, I had to actually go to, I wanna say an hour and a half away to then pick it up from New York City. And again, it's not a big deal. It's a little bit of a drive and it's actually kind of fun when you think about it just because you're like, oh, can't wait to go get my Tesla. But, but it is, still something you have to plan for because if you don't have a car, then how the heck are you getting there to pick it up? The next thing I would also say is delivery times on these Teslas from tesla.com are just getting longer and longer. Uh, it says on a regular base Model 3, the average window right now is July through September. And if you switch that to long range, it's actually July through October. That's a huge window. I don't know if you wanna go that route if you're in the immediate need of a car, if you just want the car right away and you like instant gratification, then tesla.com might not be the way for you. Before I go to the next option though, I will say that tesla.com is the cheapest option. But beware, let's say you put your deposit down, because this happened to me, if you put your deposit down to order a Tesla, you do not get that back. It is non-refundable if you change your mind. It's just something worth noting because I lost my $250 that way. And I asked the person, uh, someone got in contact with me about why I canceled. I asked them if I could get it back. They said, sorry, it is non-refundable as it says on their website, which it does say, so I will give them that credit. It does say that, but they mean it when they say it. Now, another option you have, if you don't wanna wait, you can buy a used Tesla that you could get at any dealership. Well, I shouldn't say any dealership. Any dealership that has them, you could get there. There are a few downsides to it. And there also are some upsides like the biggest upside is obviously you get it right away as opposed to waiting all the way until July or October to get it right you just have to be careful because you got to realize that a this was somebody else's car you have to inspect it do your research because a lot of times used cars are someone else's headache but there are also some gems out there that were barely driven like the one I got was barely driven before I bought it so it was great I mean now it's been abused i'm so sorry <laughs> i love this car and i drive it everywhere it feels like i bought it brand new another downside to buying used is that teslas are marked up insane right now because of the way that the demand is on the tesla website there are a lot of people who don't want to wait and go to these dealerships like a carmax carvana and you know your standard local dealerships they know that they can mark those prices up insanely now because a lot of people want them i'm hip to your game you guys think you're slick it's getting worse and unfortunately i don't see it getting better it's the way it is if you want the car unfortunately you know if you're like me and you wait it too long this is what happens you know now a bright side though is even if you do buy the car used at one of these price gouge dealerships the price of the the value of the car is still going up i bought this car and i put a quite a few miles on it since i bought it and it's almost back at what i bought it at in terms of value now that's insane because honestly if i didn't drive it at all and it just sat at home it probably would be over the value of what I paid for it at the dealership. So that's a big positive. Now, the other positive is you can actually go through and look through the years and see what you like about, you know, each car because Tesla changes up their cars almost year to year at this point. And there are some really big noticeable differences like the fit and finish on the 21s, which I have a 21 is a lot different than the fit and finish on a 22. They swapped out a lot of the, you know, higher end material and went with some cheaper materials that I wasn't a fan of. So that's not why I went with the 21, but it is a perk to going with the 21 over the 22. There's also other perks for the older cars. Like if you went with the 18, the silver metallic finish on those are actually really nice. You do lose some stuff like, uh, you know, the automatic trunk, uh, USB-C is not in the older ones. A lot of people don't even have USB-C yet, so it doesn't really matter. Like I had to go buy, I had USB-C at home, but I like to use it at home, so I had to go and buy a special cord for the car. It didn't really matter, but these are all things that you could choose if you wanna do it or not based upon what year you buy 
by you know scouting the used market. Another downside is you don't get a fresh battery when you're buying the car, but a lot of times you'll see the biggest battery, I don't even know how to say it, I guess degradation. I don't know if I said that right, but you'll see the biggest degradation of the battery had already been depleted, I guess is the word. Cause that's what I noticed with my car. It saw the biggest percentage loss it would see already. So I didn't have to worry about it. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal for me cause it only lost about 11 or so miles. So it's not terrible. In the end, how you buy a Tesla is your choice, but all I'm gonna say is stop waiting. If you want one, go get it because prices are gonna keep going up. And honestly, who wants to pay more for the car that they really want when they could get it cheaper if they just take action? This video is not about which option to buy is better because honestly, I see perks to both sides and I don't regret for a second buying my Tesla Model 3 used. Do what you wanna do. Don't listen to people who say, it's a bad idea, it's a bad investment, electric cars suck, Tesla suck. It's your choice, your money, do what you wanna do. What I will say though is listen to people who say subscribe to my channel because it's a great channel. I do Tesla videos, family vlogs, fun stuff with my family. So go ahead, subscribe and enjoy the videos. Now make sure you leave a comment, send this to someone who needs information on how to buy a Tesla. But I'm out now, man. Keep grinding, keep chasing your dreams. Remember, nothing worth having comes easy, man. We out. Peace.